Hello everybody and welcome in my kingdom, which is my garage, of course. I did get some requests from you uh, of I can make a video about the settings of the verses. I'm going to make a video about the mini. There is a lot of settings uh, for this motorcycle, so I don't think they're going to fit in one video. So instead I decided I'm going to make all series where I'm going to show you all settings uh, separately. So in each video there are going to be one specific setting for the bike. Of course all the information I'm going to show you in those videos you can find in the owner's manual. Uh, if you own a Versus then I'm sure you have at home uh, such a book, owner's manual book. If you do not own a uh, Versus you're thinking about buying it you can watch these videos or you can find in the internet online book uh, some of them you can download on the Kawasaki website you can uh, find the owner's manual which you cannot download but you can watch online so uh, you can find all the information there as well this is my uh, 2022 versus 1000 SE European model but it may happen that uh, in the different countries, on uh, different continents, the menu settings are different. So just keep that in mind. So without further ado, let's get started. To navigate our menu, we will use four buttons. The upper mode, lower mode and reset buttons on the left handlebar and select button on the right handlebar. To be able to navigate our menu, we first have to, and that's not a brainer, turn on the ignition. Versus 1000 SE have a two display layouts, type one and type two. In both display layouts, we can change the background color, and we can do it by pressing the reset button once. The display layout can be changed in the main menu. To open the menu, we must press and hold the select button for about 2 seconds. As you can see for yourself, the submenu option ready for selection is highlighted and there is a red dot on its left side. To change the display layout, we need to highlight the display option by pressing the lower mode button once. Then press the select button to shift to the next screen. Highlight mode with upper or lower mode button, if it's not highlighted yet of course, in my case it is. Press the select button to shift to the next screen. Choose type 1 or type 2 using upper or lower mode button. Press the select button to confirm or reset button to return to the previous screen. In the same menu, we can also adjust the backlight brightness of the screen in three levels. To do that, we need to highlight brightness using lower mode button. Next, press select button to shift to the next screen. We can adjust the setting using upper or lower mode button. Press the select button to confirm or reset button to return to the previous screen. To exit the menu and return to the main screen, press the reset button twice. Apart from the differences visible to the naked eye, display layouts differ in functions and informations contained on the screen. Display layout type 1 has some icons and features that display layout type 2 doesn't have, and vice versa. For example, type 2 has front brake pressure gauge, throttle gauge, and acceleration deceleration indicator. Both layouts have a multifunction display where you can switch and display various parameters of the bike. Display layout type 1 has a dual multifunctional display. Each time you press the upper mode button, the upper part of the display will show different parameters. Each time you press the lower mode button, 
the lower display will change the displayed parameters. And starting from the top of the dual display, we find the following parameters there. Auto meter, trip meter A, trip meter B, lean angle, maximum lean angle. In the lower part of the display we find current mileage, average mileage, cruising range, average speed, total time, battery voltage. The parameters listed on the lower display are not available in display layout type 2. The following multifunction display items can be reset. Trip meter A and B, maximum lean angle, average mileage, average speed and total time. If there is only one resettable item shown, push reset button and hold until resetting is done. If there is no resettable item shown, push reset button and hold. Reset all will appear. It means all resettable items will be reset. Push reset button and hold until resetting is done.